Hey guys, I'm back with another video, and uh, things could keep going from bad to worse for Kia. So this offer came out from forbid.com. So almost four million a Kia vehicle could have explosive airbag inflated. Report report says. Now with the airbag situation, you've been following my channel, you know what's been whistling going on with the airbag situation. And for for four million a Kia to have this problem. This is for a most shocking wound for Kia because they always get away a lot right now because Kia along with Hyundai is settling a lawsuit is settling a lawsuit for anti-death and the city of Madison it's gonna come next. It's coming at the Kia Nets along with Hyundai, and not Kia. It uh, according to his offer is dealing with this right here. So this is the last thing a Kia need to deal with. But here we are. <laughs> here we are. But uh, there's some audio to this offer that I'm gonna play for y'all. Almost 4 million Kia vehicles could have explosive airbag inflators, report says. By Ty Rausch. Top line. Nearly 4 million Kia vehicles have airbag inflators that the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration warned could explode in a crash, according to the Wall Street Journal, following a report from the agency that indicated at least two people were killed because of the part, for which it has issued a recall request. Key facts. The Kia vehicles made between 2000 and 2016, are equipped with airbag inflators manufactured by Tennessee-based ARC Automotive, which regulators indicated could explode when deployed, causing metal shrapnel to be shot into the car's interior, according to federal documents cited by the Wall Street Journal. It was previously unknown how many Kia vehicles had the part installed, though the agency's request to ARC Automotive to recall the part earlier this month cites a 2014 crash involving a 2004 Kia Optima, in which the airbag exploded and caused injuries to the driver's face and legs. The recall request also cites two crashes resulting in death, including a 2016 crash in Canada involving a 2009 Hyundai Elantra and a 2021 crash involving a 2015 Chevrolet Traverse. The part, used by at least 15 automotive brands, has resulted in vehicle recalls from BMW, Ford, General Motors and Volkswagen. Arc Automotive responded to the recall request indicating it strongly disagrees with the agency's conclusion, suggesting they found no defect with the part after testing. Neither Arc Automotive nor Kia immediately responded to a request for comment from Forbes, though Kia has not issued any recalls or warned drivers of a potential problem. Big number. 994,763. That's how many vehicles GM recalled earlier this month due to potentially explosive airbags, after a driver sustained facial injuries in a crash in March. Tangent. The NHTSA has also called for the recall of 67 million airbags manufactured by Takata, after an investigation found they could explode when deployed. According to a 2021 report, the airbags resulted in at least two deaths. Key Background. The NHTSA initiated a probe into ARC Automotive's airbag inflators following the fatal 2016 crash in Canada. The agency estimates at least 67 million inflators were installed in vehicles through January 2018. ARC Automotive created a design flaw in the inflator, according to the agency, resulting in the airbags becoming overpressurized and often causing debris from the inflator to shoot outward. The agency cited nine accidents, including the two deaths, that resulted in the airbag exploding between January 2009 and March 2023. ARC Automotive has denied the agency's reports, though it maintains it is deeply committed to cooperating with additional investigations. So y'all heard the audio just often. You, you, you know, it's really shameful that the public is put in jeopardy like this. It really is. It's, it's disgraceful. And it is shameful that the public is constantly is put in harm's way 
when it comes to these top situations. And, 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 and I'm at the point with this uh, with this recall situation. Just like I said, with the uh, recall on full situation, especially the recent recall that had glass in its product. I truly, truly believe when stuff like this happen on a constant level, and I'm saying on a constant level, when this stuff happens on a constant level, not rapidly, these companies need to be charged a heavy fine for this. I wouldn't believe they need to start doing it. They need to start charging these people and making these people pay a heavy fine for having this stuff happen on a constant level. That is the way I see it. Then you start making these companies who make these cars and and the people who are in charge in, in, in inspecting these cars. Then you start making them paying a heavy fine. Because it's not natural for all this mess to be going on like this. Not in the weapon pace that we see. You understand what I'm saying? Now I want too much saying about it if it was just uh, if it was just uh, an occasional thing or once in a while thing, but this not no occasional thing. This not no once in a while thing. This not no once in a month thing. This not no once in a year thing. This not once every two weeks thing. This not once every three years thing. This is this is constantly happening rapidly every single day, and it's disgraceful. It's disgraceful. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this, this article in the comment section. I will leave the link to this article in the description, by the way. Again, wait the notification bell so you won't miss none of my videos. And I will see y'all in the next video. D-Lo out.